So here we go with a new update. New update. Maura Murray. I believe, yeah, it's now 2019. Well, anyway, this was September 19, 2019. I did not read this until now, of course. As many times as I've been up on this, I have not seen. I don't think I came across this one. But, uh, it was on my nose. Dry skin. Yeah. But anyways, of course, there we have another article speaking of, um, what had happened. Oh, in this also, also this one, I don't know if this is, um, supposedly, you know, say so, the fact that people keep saying that someone was in the car, someone had a lit cigarette, some this, someone that, um, but then again, uh, the bus driver guy there never saw nobody, or, no, yeah, he didn't see nobody with her, but the people in the house neck down the street from him supposedly saw someone in there with a cigarette lit or blah, 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 but this one clearly states that, uh, and this one actually talks about how this car spun around and did a 360 going eastbound and uh, ended up, uh, what did it say? Evidence of seeds indicated a vehicle had been eastbound and had gone off the roadway, struck some trees. Here we go again. Spun around and came to the rest facing the wrong way in the eastbound lane. So that, like I say, facing going east, ended up facing back to west, but stayed in that lane. So if this truth finder keeps telling me no, no, no. She did not hit no trees. Then what the hell did she hit? I mean, there could be one uh, logical explanation for that. Now that it's thinking and coming to my head. So maybe if she was going eastbound. But. Uh, it still wouldn't. I can't. Yeah, it still wouldn't make no sense. Because say so, if she was being pursued, like I say, I think she was getting followed. And she knew it. And I say she went up to that street, past the bus driver, took the right turn, turned around, tried to flee back to the store where the public was to get a public eye. But I want to say, what's the chances of her, um, somehow the truck? got in front of her and I want to say slammed into the back end maybe and then the car just spun but if that was the case and how hard the damage looked on that car that means that something could have then again that could have led to the um maybe the tow hitch theory but I'm trying to think, you know, why. But there would have been, there, sh there would probably would have been maybe some, something that fell off from that truck and left something. So, I mean, I'm thinking, all right, if she did happen to hit and spun around, but that still wouldn't make no sense. And that would be very highly, highly, Doubtful of her to spin around in the eastbound lane facing west. But anyways, that's in here. Uh, but then again, this truth finder seems to believe that she did not hit no tree. So what the hell did she hit? I would like to know. And if he knows, I want him to say something in the comments. But... As you can see, this is obviously, but then again, it can be deceptional too in this article because as you can say, they think that she hit some trees in this article and how Truthfinder says, no, 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 
but yet she was at the ATM that same day in a white and dark sleeved coat. Clearly see the pictures in the um in the photos of the bank, right? Still shots. And besides this saying she hit trees, it's caught my attention in that this. Uh also what it says, a witness that caught my attention that I like it like to talk about was the witness who spoke to the police said there was a young female behind the wheel with no one else in the vehicle. But what other witnesses say they claim they saw another person sitting in the vehicle, the cigarette lit or the phone screen lit, whatever the case may be. But of course this one's going with no one in the friggin' car. Of course, it says the wine. Everything else in here is accurate of what's already been published, but um, this man stated tracking dogs, helicopter, and train searches. Yeah, this even is accurate. 100 feet of the accident scene. That's right. 100 feet going east, meaning that someone stopped, said, hey, you need a ride, I see what's happened, or she was getting chased, and whoever was out there was quick enough to get her in that friggin', and that's the thing, like I say, if you think about the movie The Vanishing with um, Kiefer Sullivan and uh, Jeff Bridges and how fast he managed to manhandle her and put that chloroform and knock her out. How do you know that didn't happen to Mora? That person got have jumped out, struggled with her for a good... And in the movie, they put a good distance on... Um, hang on a sec. As I was saying, as a, uh, of course, the 100 feet thing marker, where right could have been the, um, you know, thing like chloroform or something to knock her out or something to do something. And um, it goes on to say, of course, she hitched a ride, but couldn't that be a vanishing point? The vanishing, though. To think of that. And how friggin' serial killers use movies or serial killer movies or shows or any kind of stupid thing to repeat a, a past of memory or to repeat of something that, you know. But anyways, it go, the, the, the other thing um, caught my eye on this and really makes me think this is all the birth backgrounds. Trouble, I don't even read all that, because, you know, whatever what the friggin' little bit of mischief that she did cause. You know, I'm sure she didn't do all that shit intentionally. But the other thing that uh, caught my eye, like I said, bought him a seat, covered down a more, came back to quality in and staying with the dinner, and the work. Parking lot, and three of them were bad. Yeah, no more party. You know, this was all irrelevant to me. Um, more made headlines. Once again. Well, of course, they say more made headlines once again in April 2019. That was the basement thing. But uh, where the hell did it go? Damn it. I wanted to show that part. Bear with me a moment.
damn. Trying to find where she where they have in this article where I wanna make sure that I make it known. Is that uh is the jacket. Need to make sure, like I say, to always document stuff from other things. Because if something else comes up, and then that's different, and this and that. And, you know, it, it all gets changed. Just like they say that, oh, she, um, you know, hit the trees. Uh, or the witness said they saw nobody, but there was other witnesses they saw somebody. You know, it just is ridiculous. And once again, once again, here's a new article. Nothing, nothing, nothing about the red truck. Once again. Mm, shit. But I will be right back. No, oh, here it is. Like I said, I had to freaking look this up. Thought there wasn't there for a moment, but <laughs> there it is. It was last seen in jeans and a dark colored coat. So here we go again, once again, a dark colored coat. When in the friggin' video, they supposed, I think I read somewhere else that they said that she changed the coat while she was hit, I mean, at the scene maybe. You maybe seen, uh, think of that, but when you got a damn surveillance camera and a person in it, and there's a white coat there with dark sleeves, then how the hell did they get a dark colored coat? I mean, as you can see, I read right here. Um, jeans and a dark color after seven was last seen, right? Dark colored coat. I mean, besides that, I mean, everything else is accurate, I believe. Everything else is, um, to me anyways, the hitting of the trees and the other thing I was talking about. But once again, here we are going with the truth finder. She didn't hit no trees. No, no, no. Well, all right, what the hell she hit? And why is this article made in, um, right here, Reading and Weep, September 19, 2019. And they speak of hitting of the trees again. If there is something else there that's reported that they say something else was hit, I would like someone to find that and show it to me. Because, I mean, I've been looking up many articles when this first popped up on my goddamn phone. And like I say, everything that I try to get to the document, I do it. And today I documented this just in case something else comes up changed, right? That's what I do. And that's why I friggin' um, do these things, because I want to make sure that things are properly said. But when you got 15 different sites, or 20 different sites, or who even knows how many are out there right now, and they're all frickin' wrong, and some of them come out with the same thing, or some of them come out with new things, or some... Oh, man. That's why they say, that's right, once you get in this case, you will be obsessed, you will be... You know, 50 million dangling things hanging around your head. And you it's like a friggin' spider and you can't whack it off your head. And it's dangling there, doing this in front of your face. <laughs> laughing, you can't touch me. I'm just, I'm just blown away from this case, period. And this makes it different from any other missing persons. In ways, because a lot of them you see just, ex ex especially the one I do of Taj Narbonne. There wasn't 15 different people in this involved in this one. There wasn't a red truck involved in this one. There wasn't a friggin' lunatic that friggin' pulls up a video and starts laughing at the fifth or the whatever year anniversary he did his bullshit in. You know, it's friggin' sick. And that kid in Taj Nabon only had two people in his life at the time, and two of them people, one of them his stepfather, hated, despised the kid, 
and it's only obvious. You know what? There was no other people that in their family that they investigated or seen or had any acknowledgement to be bullying that kid or so so. So you got one missing person, and then you just get this and that. But this one's got so many friggin' twists and turns like a frickin' maze. That, yeah, it's like, where do you turn? Where do you go? And when articles come out like this, and they're still screwing it up, or they're still got things in there that people believe did not happen, it's just, ay, ay, ay. You want to smack your eyes off your face. Push, because you're sick of reading this, all this same crap. And like I said, the most important thing is not in this article either. Once again, September 19th. Last year, where is that goddamn red truck? Even the brothers ain't in this article. All it goes on to say is what happened to her, where she was, da-da-da-da. You know what? Who cares? You, you got to get to the crucial parts and, where, and get it back in the people's head. The red truck, the red truck. And you got to stop, freaking stop. People need to stop not putting in the red truck. They need to stop putting nonsense there and start putting in the red truck. I meant to say stop putting in nonsense, not stop the red truck, but stop putting in this nonsense and put in what the details where you need to really find is that goddamn red truck. And that's why I'm here doing my videos. If it takes me that I got to go through every article that comes up, or find articles, right, that, you know, have everything, maybe I will do that. And if I don't see that goddamn red truck, I'm going to keep on saying it. Someone said to me, stop repeating myself. Well, guess what? I have to repeat myself because people don't have the red truck. Where's the red truck? The main thing a witness saw driving around. Not there. Dark coat, though. The only mistake in this article to me is the dark coat. She had a white friggin' coat. Looked like one of them white vest coats with the black sleeves. So. But there was white. There was no dark about it. And if she happened to change them out, maybe because the wine spilt. You know, hey, maybe she was sipping a little wine to go up to the friggin'. In its middle of winter, right? It's cold out. Maybe her heater wasn't kicking on good, right? Her thermostat in the car could have got to sip a little wine, right? You yeah, sip a little booze to keep yourself warm. But yeah, if she happened to be chased though, and then all of a sudden the wine's all over her white coat, that wouldn't make her change her coat. Maybe that's what it was. But that would have been in the surveillance, and it wasn't. So how would anybody know that she was in a dark coat last seen when she was last seen at the fucking ATM with a white coat? How did anybody see the dark coat? Where the frick is this coming from? Whatever it may be, it's a damn mystery that's going to drive everybody insane before this woman is found. But I've covered everything I could on this. Until that next video, be safe, take care, and everybody beware. 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 <laughs> oh, man. Don't know who's out there following your ass like this or stalking you or keep your fist up. Keep your fist up, and if something like this occurs, I hope you have every inch in your body to go into a bit of rage and poke that son of a bitch that's trying to attack you. That's what I'd do. All you weak-minded people need to step up a notch in your game. Put a little insanity in that brain, and you'll be amazed on how much it helps. It's like me. <laughs> That's right. Let me itch my head. Scratch my plate. Scratch my plate. Put a little sickness in that brain and take care of them stalkers and murderers and rapists and killers and...